Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 1.3 hypothesis testing for zero correlation. 1.3 represents chapter 1, section 3 of the Pearson A level maths, applied maths year 2 textbook. I'm going to start off this teaching video by explaining some important notation. Firstly, you've got the R. The R represents the sample product moment correlation coefficient. Then you've got the P. That is a Greek a letter called a rho. Rho represents the population product moment correlation coefficient. Then you've got H0, which is the null hypothesis. H1, the alternative hypothesis. CV is a shorthand for critical value, and N represents the sample size. So I'm going to go ahead and write this down. Sample PMCC. Population PMCC. Null hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis. Critical value. Sample size. In the exam, you can be assessed on a one table test or a two table test. For a one table test, we have two different forms. Here is the first form. For the first form, the null hypothesis represents a row is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis represents row is greater than zero. These are the hypotheses for a positive correlation. We can model this situation using a diagram. Here is my diagram. H0 represents rho is equal to 0, so I can put 0 here. H1 represents rho is greater than 0, in other words, a positive value, so I can put plus over here. The CV, stick it in the middle. CV is a shorthand for critical value. Anything that is the CV or more represents the critical region. So we can shade in the critical region. Form 2. The null hypothesis represents rho is equal to 0. However, the alternative hypothesis represents rho is less than 0. These are the hypotheses for a negative correlation. Again, we can model this situation using a diagram. Here is my diagram. H0 represents rho is equal to 0, so I can put a 0 here. H1 represents rho is less than 0. So H1 represents rho is less than 0. In other words, a negative value, so I can put a minus here. The CV, I stick it in the middle. Again, CV is a shorthand for critical value. Anything that is CV or less represents the critical region. So we can shade in the critical region. Let's have a look at a two-tail test. Right, for a two-tail test, the hypotheses will be of the following form. The null hypothesis will represent rho is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis, ladies and gents, will represent rho is not equal to zero. These are the hypotheses to test for a correlation. So that correlation could be a positive correlation or a negative correlation, hence we write rho is not equal to zero as our alternative hypothesis. Again, we can model this situation using a diagram. Here is my diagram. So I've got H0 which represents 0. I can have H1 which represents a negative or H1 which represents a positive. Here is my first critical value. Anything that is this critical value or less represents the critical region so I can shade it in. Here is my second critical value. Anything that is this critical value or more represents my critical region. So I can shade in my critical region. So that there is a diagram that models a two-tail test, a test for a correlation. 
Ladies and gents, now I'm going to explain how to structure your solution for hypothesis testing for zero correlation. Here is a step-by-step -step method. Step number one, state H0 and H1. Step number two, use the significance level and the sample size that's given in the question to find the critical value using the PMCC table. In other words, the product moment correlation coefficient table. This table is given in the formula booklet. Step number three, draw a diagram and shade the critical region. If R is in the critical region, reject H0 but accept H1. If R is not in the critical region, accept H0 but reject H1. Step number four, write a conclusion in context. Before I have a look at some exam style questions, an important reminder, if you come across a two-tailed test, before you do anything, make sure you take the significance level and divide it by 2. Here is an exam style question. Part A, state what is measured by the PMCC. 12 students sat two biology tests, one theoretical, the other practical. Their marks are shown below. So we have a table consisting of marks in theoretical test T and marks in practical test P. Part B, find the PMCC for these data, correct to three significant figures. Now PMCC can be the R or it can be the rho. The R represents the sample PMCC. The rho represents the population PMCC. In this question, we are given a sample. So we are trying to calculate R, the sample PMCC. You can calculate R using your class with calculator. Check out my video 1.2 measuring correlation in order to find out how to work out the R value using the class with calculator. A teacher claims that students who do well in their theoretical test also tend to do well in their practical test. Part C, test is claimed at a 0.05 significance level, stating your hypothesis clearly. The question is, is this a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test? Go back to the wording of the question. A teacher claims that students who do well in their theoretical test also tend to do well in their practical test. The teacher is claiming that there is a positive correlation between the marks in theoretical test T and marks in practical test P. So over here we have a one-tailed test. The hypothesis will be for a positive correlation. Let's have a look at part A. For part A, you would need to write down that the PMCC measures the type and strength of linear correlation between two variables. Part B, we want to calculate the sample PMCC, the R value. We can use our class with calculator. Check my video 1.2 measuring correlation in order to find out how to work out the R value using your class with calculator. Anyways, if I use my class with calculator, I get that the sample PMCC R is equal to 0 0.935 to three significant figures. Let's move on to part C. For part C, we want to carry out a one-tailed test. We want to test the claim that there is a positive correlation. So let's have a look at part C. Step number one, state H0 and H1. So the H0 will represent rho is equal to zero and the H1 will represent rho is greater than zero. These are the hypotheses for a positive correlation. Step two, use the significance level and the sample size to find the critical value using the PMCC table. The PMCC table is in the formula booklet. So in this particular question, the sample size is 12. So n is equal to 12. And the significance level, ladies and gents, is 0 0.05. Significance level, SL, shorthand for significance level, is equal to 0 0.05. So now we're going to use the sample size n equal 12 and the significance level SL equal to 0 0.05 in the PMCC table in order to find the critical value. So here is the PMCC table, or you could call it the critical values for correlation coefficients table. My significance level is 0 0.05 and my sample size is 12. 
So using 0.05 as a significance level and the sample size 12, we get a critical value of 0.4973. Using the PMCC table gives us critical values equal to 0.4973. Let's move on to step number three. For step number three, we need to draw a diagram to model this situation. So here is my diagram. H0, H1. H0 represents rows equal to zero, so I can put a zero here. H1 represents rows greater than zero, in other words, a positive value, so I can put a plus here. The critical value, we should stick it in the middle, so CV equal 0 0.4973. Anything that is the critical value or more represents the critical region. So this whole area over here. Now let's go back to our sample PMCC, our R value. So we've got R is equal to 0 0.935, which is greater than the critical value 0 0.4973. And so R is in the critical region. Hence, we need to reject H0, but we accept H1. Step number four, write a conclusion in context. Because we are accepting H1, we are concluding that there is evidence at the 0.0 five significance level that students who do well in their theoretical test also tend to do well in their practical test. Students who do well in their theoretical test tend to do well in their practical test. So ladies and gents, when it comes to hypothesis testing, it's all about the structure. Break it down into parts and if you can do this, it will make a lot more sense. Here is another exam style question. A scientific researcher collects data on the amount of solvent in a solution and the rate of reaction. She calculates the product moment correlation coefficient between the two sets of data and finds it to be minus 0.43. Given that she calculated a data from 15 samples, test at the 5% level of significance, the claim that there is a negative correlation between the amount of solvent and the rate of reaction. State your hypothesis clearly. Right, firstly, I'm going to be extracting some key information within this particular paragraph. So what are we given? Firstly, we have R is equal to minus 0 0.43. The sample size N is equal to 15. The significance level is equal to 5%, which is 0 0.05. And the claim is that there is a negative correlation. This indicates that we have a one-tailed test. Okay, so let's follow these steps over here. Step number one, we need to state H0 and H1. So H0 represents rho is equal to zero. H1 represents rho is less than zero. And these are the hypotheses for a negative correlation. Step number two, use the significance level and the sample size to find the critical value using the PMCC table. The PMCC table is in the formula booklet. Okay, so we have a sample size N equal to 15 and a significance level SL equal to 0 0.05, which is 5%. 
We are going to use n equal 15 and significance level equal 0 0.05 in the PMCC table in order to find the critical value. Our significance level is 0 0.05 and the sample size is 50. So using these two values, we get a critical value of 0 0.4409. But because we're testing for a negative correlation, we have to take the negative of this, which is minus 0 0.4409. Using the PMCC table, we get that the critical value is minus 0.4409. Let's move on to step number three. For step number three, we need to draw a diagram to model this situation. So here's my diagram. H0 represents rows equal to zero, so I can put a zero here. H1 represents rows less than zero, in other words, a negative value, so I can put a minus here. The critical value, I stick it in the middle. I've got CV equal minus 0 0.4409. Anything that is the critical value or less represents the critical region. So here is my shading for the critical region. Now my sample PMCC R, which is equal to minus 0 0.43, is actually greater than minus 0 0.4409. So the R value is not in the critical region. It will be somewhere over here. What does this mean? Well, it means that we have to accept H0 but reject H1. Okay, so we are rejecting H1 and we are accepting H0. So step number four, we write a conclusion. This time you would write there is insufficient evidence. Okay, so there is insufficient evidence at the 5% significance level that go back to the wording of the question there is a negative correlation between the amount of solvent and the rate of reaction you just copy that out there is a negative correlation between the amount of solvent and the rate of reaction. And there you have it, that is the complete solution. So hypothesis testing is not bad at all. If you follow a certain structure, it is straightforward. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.